This is Bezos Nigeria TV News Briefs. Here are the highlights of some news making the rounds today. I am full of it. The World Bank has predicted that if the deadly Ebola virus disease significantly affects countries would boost of larger economies, the two-year regional financial impact could reach up to $32.6 US billion by the end of 2015. The latest economic impact assessment by the bank was released yesterday at the ongoing World Bank IMF annual meetings in Washington, D.C., United States of America. Standard Chartered Bank has unveiled the Standard Chartered Premise Consumer Price Tracker as part of its efforts to improve data collection in Nigeria. According to the bank, this data collection would focus primarily on general price trend of food prices across the country with information gathered from Lagos, Kano and Abuja. Kano State Government has unveiled an e-commerce project marking a turning point in the history of commerce in the state and the entire northern region. The project is in collaboration with eTransact International, provider of mobile banking and payment services and busy mobile. The move by the United States will halt the importation of Nigeria's light blend of crude oil due to the shale oil boom as exposed its refineries to the dangers associated with the processing of lighter shade oil. The U.S. has slashed crude oil imports from a peak of almost 14 million barrels per day in 2006 to slightly above 7 million barrels per day following the increased domestic production of shale oil. The European Rating Agency Fitch Ratings has revealed that there could be a drop in profits for Nigerian banks due to the Central Bank of Nigeria's policies which are aimed at protecting the economy and the banking system. Quoting Fitch rating yesterday, Bloomberg stated that Nigerian banks' assets growth and earnings will fall in the next 18 months because of the CBN's move to protect the economy and the banking customers. The snag in global crude oil production has continued to take its toll on the nation's crude oil as 40 cargoes of November delivery failed to find instant buyers at the world market yesterday. According to market observers, trade was the slower they had ever seen due to ample supply and slow demand. And on sports, interim coach of the Super Eagles, Stephen Keshe, has shot out the possibility of the return of Villarreal FC forward Ike Chuku Uche to the senior national squad. The coach said he was not in any position to beg any player to play for the country. For details on this news bridge, please visit www.bizworthnigeria.ng. You can also follow us on Twitter at Bizworth Nigeria and like our fan page on facebook.com forward slash Bizworth Nigeria. That will be all for now, but remember, if your story is not inspiring you, it's time to change it.